गुड मॉर्निंग इन दिस क्लास वी आर डिस्कसिंग कार्बन टू ऑक्सीजन माइग्रेशन ऑफ आल्केल ग्रुप और अरेल ग्रुप और इवन बोन माइग्रेशन सो कार्बन टू कार्बन माइग्रेशन कार्बन टू नाइट्रोजन माइग्रेशन एंड इन दिस क्लास वी आर डिस्कसिंग कार्बन टू ऑक्सीजन माइग्रेशन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन अल्केल ग्रुप और अरेल ग्रुप एंड द फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल कमिंग अंडर कार्बन टू ऑक्सीजन माइग्रेशन इज बेर लीगर ऑक्सीडेज रीअरेंजमेंट बेर लीगर रीअरेंजमेंट Keep it in mind. Bare villager rearrangement is coming under carbon to carbon to oxygen migration. Oxygen carbon to oxygen. So bare villager uh, rearrangement. The, this rearrangement is important for the preparation of uh, uh, esters, which can be prepared from uh, which cannot be prepared by the normal esterification method. So in this uh, by this rearrangement, we can. prepare different types of uh, esters so let us go through bare villager rearrangement it is the reaction of reaction of a ketone ketone with peroxy acids peroxy acids in the presence of in the presence of a mineral acid acid to give acid okay the reaction of a ketone okay ketone with the peroxy acid what do you mean by peroxy acid r c double bond o o oh this is peroxy acid what is that r c double bond o o oh there r r can be uh, that means uh, peroxy benzoic acid that means uh, R can be uh, 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 ring or uh, it can be CH3 or R that means R could be C6H5 or uh, CH3 or uh, CF3. Okay, so this type of peroxy acid can be used for bare villager uh, rearrangement. So what is bare villager rearrangement? The reaction of a ketone with uh, peroxy acid. What is the formula of peroxy acid? Uh, COO. Uh, OH where R can be C6H5 that means uh, peroxy benzoic acid or uh, uh, when it is CH3 peroxy acetic acid or trifluoro peroxy trifluoro acetic acid these are the peroxy acid we can which can be used for this uh, rearrangement now let us go through the mechanism of this uh, rearrangement so in general what is bare uh, bare villager rearrangement if you take r c double bond or r1 this is our ketone ketone this is our ketone react with the peroxy acid that means uh, here it is r2 c double bond o o okay this is our peroxy acid peroxy peroxy acid okay in the presence of uh, dilute uh, acid h plus what do we get we look at here we get r c double bond o o r1 o r1 that means r c double bond o what is that o uh, r1 uh, see here, here you can see that uh, this uh, alkyl group this alkyl group is migrated from carbon and uh, to oxygen see r1 here r1 is attached to carbon in the product you can see that in the ester r1 is attached to oxygen that means the migration of uh, alkyl group from carbon to oxygen plus what you will get uh, the parent acid of the peroxy acid what is the parent acid of the peroxy acid r2 r2 co oh okay this rearrangement is known as bare villager rearrangement you can see here a uh, reaction of a ketone with the peroxy acid there is a rearrangement of uh, so migration of alkyl group from carbon to oxygen and we get uh, the parent acid of the peroxy acid okay now let us go through the mechanism of this uh, uh, reaction
Okay, uh, we take uh, this is our uh, uh, this is a ketone. Okay, this is a ketone. Okay, CH3 acetone. If you take this is as a acet this is acetone. Acetone react with uh, uh, we take uh, CF3 C double bond O O O H. Okay, uh, uh, this is trifluoro. Uh, 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 peroxy acetic acid, trifluoro uh, peroxy acetic acid, or you can take uh, peroxy acetic acid, uh, what is that, uh, CH3, C double bond O, H, okay, in the presence of uh, H plus, okay, look at here, what we are getting, look at it here, uh, okay, so in the first step, okay, double bond O, this reaction is in the presence of a uh, mineral acid, that means here it is uh, H plus, as you know very well, this lone pair electron will abstract this uh, H plus, and we get a double bond O, o H uh, with a positive charge and in the next step you can see that uh, this bond is uh, uh, migrating or this bond is breaking from this carbon and it is uh, migrating to the electron pair is migrating to oxygen and you get uh, here it is uh, OH and here you get a full positive charge that means by protonation this is actually protonation by protonation uh, this carbon become more positive this is this carbon is highly positive and uh, in the next step you can see that uh, okay look at here very carefully in the next step this one our peroxy acid okay I can write the peroxy acid here and it is like this CF3 what is that C double bond O O H correct CF3 C double bond O C double bond O, 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 H, okay, and this is our peroxy acid, okay, you can see that uh, uh, this, this, this lone pair electron, O, H, okay, this lone pair is electron is attacking on this positively charged cup, okay, and what you get, uh, look at it here, okay, uh, look at it here, what it, uh, this is CF3, C double bond O, 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 H, this lone pair electron of OH group, this o, o, lone pair is electron attacking this uh, positively charged carbon and we get a structure like this, okay, here it is uh, OH, correct, and here it is uh, O, and here it is H, okay, OH, and here it is O, and here it is C, double bond O, C, F, 3, correct, and of course here it is a positive charge, and in the next step, minus H plus that means okay minus H plus and what do we get we get a structure like this here it is O H and here it will become O and here it is O uh, C double bond O C F 3 now look at here the rearrangement is now the rearrangement okay I can write it as a, okay CH3 here is also CH3 okay in the next step you can see that uh, okay same structure I am once again writing. Okay, let me write it here. Okay, uh, here it is uh, like this. Okay, O, H, and here it is uh, uh, CH3, CH3, here it is O, and uh, here it is O, C double bond O, CF3. Okay, here this is the structure. Now you can see that. Uh, Okay, now you can see this is a concentric mechanism. Uh, look at it here very carefully. Actually, the driving force, uh, you can see that uh, this carboxylate ion, this carboxylate ion, that means uh, CF3, C double bond O, O. The, actually, uh, uh, this carboxylate ion, CO minus is forming. That means, uh, okay, this bond is breaking. Or you can, uh, or uh, uh, this bond is breaking. Uh, okay, uh, that means uh, this is shifting to here. Then what you will get uh, CF3, COO minus carboxylate ion. If it is common R, R, COO minus carboxylate ion. Then this oxygen atom is getting a positive charge. This is the driving force uh, of this reaction. When this oxygen atom is getting a positive charge, this bond, this C alkyl group breaks from here and it is uh, migrating to oxygen. That time this pair of electron will be shifted to here. This is a concerted mechanism. This is the important rearrangement occurring here. That means uh, uh, actually the formation of a carbo. This is a better leaving group. Formation of a carboxylate ion CF3COO minus is uh, uh, removed. Then what will happen? Uh, since uh, and what will happen? There is a positive charge is created on this oxygen. At the same time, what will happen? This alkyl group will be migrated from 
uh, this carbon to oxygen simultaneously this pair of electron will be shifted to here actually this is a concerted mechanism and the driving force is the creation of a positive charge on the oxygen atom keep it in mind and you will get you are getting a structure like this okay uh, here it is a double bond O here it is double bond O here it is a CH3 CH3 C double bond O here it is H and of course it will become a positive charge okay and uh, and here you are getting and this is uh, CH3 C double bond O H and uh, uh, this O correct this O and what will happen this CH3 is migrated to here so here it is CH3 plus what you will get uh, CF3 C double bond O O minus okay and actually this is protonated ester we are getting protonated 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 ester ester okay protonated ester and you can see that in the next step uh, this protonated ester this is protonated ester in the next step you can see that uh, our uh, uh, h2o water molecule this uh, uh, water molecule uh, will uh, abstract okay in the next step you can see that h2o uh, abstracting a proton and okay abstracting a proton and in the actually this is in the next step what you will get we get uh, ch3 c double bond or o ch3 this is a step you can see that uh, the alkyl group is migrated from carbon to oxygen and we get uh, a step okay this is the mechanism of this uh, bear villager uh, rearrangement okay There will be a rearrangement. Now we can see that uh, the where will be the rearrangement can be brought about by uh, instead of uh, peroxy acid, uh, we can use uh, hydrogen peroxide. We can use uh, hydrogen peroxide in acidic media or uh, basic media. Oh, look at here. Another example uh, uh, for, uh, uh, for uh, where we did the rearrangement, we are converting a ketone into ester instead of uh, peroxy acid. We use hydrogen peroxide first in acidic medium, second in uh, basic medium. Look at this rearrangement. Again, double bond O, this is our uh, ketone, ketone, ketone. Ketone reacts with the hydrogen peroxide H2O2 in acidic medium. In acidic medium, look at here how the reaction is happening. Uh, you can see that uh, uh, again the mechanism of the reaction. Okay, here it is double bond O as we have discussed earlier. Proton is here. H plus uh, is subtracting by this uh, oxygen and we get uh, O H and uh, a double bond O H with a positive charge. Okay. And here you can see that uh, this is uh, shifted to here and you get uh, here it is uh, OH with a positive charge, correct? Carbocation and uh, this is common in the first step also, highly positively charged carbon center is created. Now our hydrogen peroxide, hydrogen peroxide H, O, O, H, this is our hydrogen peroxide. You can look at it here, the lone pair electron is uh, attacking on this positively charged carbon and what do you get, uh, look at it here. Okay, here it is like this, like this, O, H, and what we will get here, O, here it is H, O, H, and of course this is having a positive charge. Okay, having a positive charge. Now in the next step, what will happen? Uh, this uh, uh, minus H plus, minus H plus, and what do we get? We get a structure like this, O, H, and here it is O, O, H. Okay, now you can see that, uh, okay, again, uh, okay, again, the same structure, the same structure I am repeating, okay, here it is O, O, H, and here it is O, O, H, now you can see that, again, our H plus, uh, our uh, uh, H plus ion, okay, is here, this uh, O, H group, this O, H group, this lone pair electron upside H plus ion, because the reaction is carrying out in the uh, acidic medium, H plus ion is upcycled by this O, H group, and we get, and we get, so look at the mechanism, uh, 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 okay, 
uh, first creating a carbocation, then our hydrogen peroxide, there is a lone pair electron is attacking on this positively charged carbon and you get a structure like this for stability, your proton is removed and uh, you are getting a uh, structure like this and what will happen, this lone pair electron of OH is subtracting that removed uh, proton and we get and we get what do we get we get a structure like this here it is uh, o, 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 oh okay here it is uh, oh and here it is o oh2 plus okay oh2 plus and you can see that uh, again uh, now the mechanism you can see that uh, again here also now h2 is a very good leaving group so what is that h2 uh, h2 is uh, uh, removed H2 is removed and uh, therefore a positive charge is created on the oxygen atom again that is a driving force simultaneously at the same moment what will happen the alkyl group will be migrated to oxygen and what will happen the lone pair electron will be shifted between this carbon and oxygen and you get again CH3 here it is like this double bond O H uh, with a positive charge and you can see that uh, uh, here it is uh, O and uh, uh, this uh, this alkyl group this alkyl this alkyl group is migrated to oxygen so here it is ch3 plus what will form h2o plus h2 okay and uh, what is that uh, uh, you can see that in the final step as we have discussed earlier what is that uh, uh, this protonated this is protonated uh, protonated ester this ester uh, water water is here this water removes this proton water removes this proton that means uh, minus h3o plus H2O is here, it removes this proton and what will happen, oh, okay, I can write it as like this and uh, removes this uh, proton and the bond is uh, uh, migrated to oxygen and what do we get, CH3, C double bond or, or CH3, we get ester. Okay, this is the bare villager uh, rearrangement uh, using hydrogen peroxide in acid medium, in acid medium using hydrogen peroxide in acid medium. We are, uh, ketone can be converted to ester. Okay. Now, uh, again, uh, the same thing only hydrogen peroxide in basic medium. Look at here. Hydrogen peroxide in basic medium. So, our ketone, uh, hydrogen peroxide H2O2 in basic medium. Okay. In basic medium. What is the rearrangement? Look at the rearrangement how and this rearrangement look at here our hydrogen peroxide h o o h okay in basic medium o h minus okay this base removes a proton okay mass that means uh, minus h2 o and what will happen this pair of electron this pair of electron will be moved to uh, oxygen and we get what do we get h o o with a uh, oxygen with a lone pair and a negative charge that means a peroxide ion peroxide peroxide ion what do we get peroxide ion okay this is the first step you know that in basic medium what will happen to hydrogen peroxide the base removes a proton from hydrogen peroxide and we get what do we get we get peroxide ion and in the next step you can see that this is our uh, ketone and uh, of course uh, uh, this peroxide ion what is our peroxide ion o o h and here it is uh, this is our peroxide ion this is our peroxide ion this peroxide ion is attacking on this polar carbon. This CO group is uh, polar carbon is uh, slightly positively charged. Therefore, this uh, lone pair electron is attacking on this. So we get a structure like this. Here it is, and uh, simultaneously, what will happen to this bond is uh, migrating to oxygen, and you get uh, O minus. And here it is uh, O, uh, O. Here it is uh, O H. Okay. Uh, this is the uh, this is the step. Okay, this is the step, and you can see that uh, in the next step, look at here. This lone pair attacking peroxide ion attacking on this carbon. The bond is migrated to oxygen, and you are getting a structure like this. And in the next step, you can see that uh, when this uh, pair of electron when it comes back, okay, this is a concerted mechanism. When it comes back, this uh, this alkyl group this alkyl group breaks from carbon, and it will attach to oxygen, and our base is. Uh, uh, removed minus OH minus so what you will get we are getting I'm writing CH3 uh, C double bond O and here it is uh, uh, this O and to that all this CH3 group is migrated plus what will form OH minus this is the mechanism when we use uh, the base and hydrogen peroxide okay in this way also we can convert a ketone into 
like you don't Indo or uh, Esther and uh, Esther. Uh, look at the Meccans. Okay. Okay. And another example, another example, you can see that uh, uh, another example. Uh, okay, look at it here. The conversion of uh, double bond or to. Okay. This is lactone. Lactone. Okay. That means, you see, H2O2 in basic medium. H2O2 in basic medium. When you look at the reagent, you must know that uh, this rearrangement is uh, bare villager rearrangement. Bare villager uh, rearrangement. So, let us go through the mechanism of this rearrangement. Okay. Okay. Here it is like this. Okay. Double bond O. And, uh, of course, uh, before that, uh, as you know very well, uh, we are uh, discuss okay what is the first, uh, how we are starting that uh, we know that uh, hydrogen peroxide H O O H in the basic media what is happening the base removes a proton and uh, this bond is uh, migrating to oxygen that means what will form H O O minus that means uh, peroxide ion peroxide we are starting with the peroxide ion okay that means the peroxide ion the peroxide ion, that means, uh, what is that peroxide ion, O, O, here it is H, and here it is, okay, this is our peroxide ion, this peroxide ion is attacking at the positively charged carbon, and what will happen, this will be uh, migrated to oxygen, one of the bonds is migrating to oxygen, by one is migrating to oxygen, and you get a structure like this, here it is like this, and here it is uh, O minus, and of course, uh, when it is attacking here, what you will get? You get O, okay, here it is O, OH, okay, OH, correct? This uh, attacking here, or, or I can write it uh, like this, uh, no need of any infusion, okay, okay, lone pair is attacking on this carbon, other with a negative, okay, attacking, the peroxide attacking on the positively charged carbon, and we get a structure like this, and in the next step, as you know very well, what is that? Uh, this pair of electron is comes back. Then what will happen? This bond, this bond breaks from this carbon and is migrating, shifted to oxygen. That means uh, carbon to oxygen bond shift. Instead of uh, carbon to oxygen alkyl group shift, what is happening? Carbon to oxygen uh, bond shift is occurring, and the uh, ring is uh, five membered ring is uh, changing to changing to six membered. And you get, uh, uh, okay, this is shifting to here, simultaneously what OH minus is removed. Okay, when this comes back, here it is, the bond breaks from here and uh, migrate, shifting to oxygen, um, OH minus is removed. And we get, uh, here it is double bond O, and here, uh, here the ring O is coming, okay. And here it is like this, plus uh, OH minus, we get uh, left. So, mm -hmm. this, uh, uh, with this, uh, Okay, we are finishing uh, bare villager rearrangement. Thank you.